seen a lot of interesting architecture today. You can even see some kind of stars of David on on uh, uh, on here in some of the uh, intricate intricate masonry. Normally it, it, it is, not now because of COVID. I really urge you to go when it reopens. Uh, please, please, please go in here. So we just recently learned that uh, this would be renamed the Morris uh, Steiner Collection uh, following a generous donation uh, to the Yale School of Music by Timothy Steiner, who was a Yale graduate and the great grandson of the eponymous Morris Steiner. So for many years it was just called the Yale Collection of Musical Instruments, and I don't know if it was anti-Semitism or just a change in the naming policy or, or, or what that, that kept it, prevented it from being called the Morris Steiner Collection in the first place because Morris did a lot, had a lot more to do with the existence of this collection than, than let's say, Elihu Yale did for the existence of Yale. So. Um, so that's just my editorializing. But who was Morris Steiner? He was a Bavarian Jew as well. Uh, he was a Bavarian Jew who immigrated to the United States in 1850 at age 19. He first came to the South, I think Charleston or Savannah. I'm not sure exactly, but we know that by 1860 he was living in Georgia, rural Georgia. A Jew in rural Georgia when the Civil War broke out. And he did not want to be conscripted into the Confederate army, very understandable. So he came to uh, New Haven and set himself up as a p piano dealer. Fortunately for him, he was friends with a man named William Steinway, or wow. Wilhelm Steinweg, who was a big piano manufacturer. Where? In Queens, mm -hmm. in New York City, Astoria. Yeah. Uh, and he had come, Wilhelm Steinweg had come from the same town in Bavaria as Morris. Very, very lucky for him. So thanks to this fortuitous connection, very soon after arriving in New Haven, Morris becomes the biggest Steinway dealer in all of New, he New England. And this is the era, the Victorian era, when everybody has a piano in their house. So he became very wealthy. M. Steiner and Sons, his business became uh, very successful and enabled him to devote himself to collecting very cool musical instruments and, and to philanthropy. M. Steiner and Sons still exists today, selling fine pianos. You can visit their showroom in Boston. I don't know if any of you have ever been. There's a, a Steiner Hall on uh, Boylston Street in Boston, where uh, many generations of the world's greatest um, pianists have uh, performed. It's a fabulous venue with great, great acoustics right there in downtown uh, Boston. Morris was uh, also a talented multi-instrument musician himself, playing piano, organ, flute, cello, and violin. He actually founded the New Haven Symphony Orchestra in 1894 because he wanted a group to play with. So he founded his own <laughs> own orchestra, and they had to let him in as a as a performer. So I think he played cello and violin with the, in the orchestra, and that is also going strong today, just like the uh, the business. Uh, and so this, this uh, collection, the core of which was Morris's uh, personal collection and was donated by him to Yale in 1900, uh, still going strong today, it is a great place to visit to look at all of the uh, antique uh, instruments. And if you can, get on their email list, find out when they're having concerts. It is really a fabulous experience to see a performance here on one of the, um, like the old, century harpsichords or one of the other period instruments so so uh, do that uh, yes I think it was no it, it actually wasn't it was originally built as a frat house um, although I can't remember what the fraternity was uh, but but this was a considered a much uh, higher value uh, occupancy uh, so an upgrade did he renovate the frat house or just make it finish? It's, this is it. 
the renovated. The this front is, like this? yeah, all of this uh, sort of semi-Masonic symbolism is what the uh, undergrads were into in a very big way, and their and their sponsors. Mm -hmm. And I can chef a little nachas uh, here. In, I didn't know about uh, uh, Tim Steinert's uh, donation to the to the uh, collection, but he was uh, my uh, carpool mate. Uh, in Cambridge in, in the, the 60s.